Here we go. This just in from Hong Kong, I believe. Evil 2 Enterprise V3 with case. Wow, this is beautiful. You get, wow, this controller is bigger than I thought. Look at this. These are the batteries. Charger. You got a loudspeaker. Floodlight. And additional accessories here. Looks like chargers. All kind of chargers and stuff. And now let's take this one out. Whew. Look at this. So I managed to go in the box and see what else is there. You have spare propellers. And this looks like a, uh, a strap for the remote controller where you can put it around your neck. This is a remote control. I've taken all the protective plastic off. These are the antennas and it has a uh, stand. This is the new V3, as you see. Um, and I just wanted to show you a comparison. This is the 640T in comparison to the Mavic 2 Pro. So you can see, I mean, similar in body size but the Autel is definitely taller and they're pretty similar in length. Weight wise, uh, this weight, it definitely weighs more. I think it's like a couple hundred grams more. I'll double check that. So it's got 360 sensors. I love this, it's so beautiful. ADSB, it has the new requirement for the FAA. You've got all your anti-collision lights on the side, lights on the bottom, obstacle sensors on the bottom. I love the legs to protect the aircraft when it's landing. Beautiful colors, look at this. And again, this is the newest model that just came out. I ordered it from Hong Kong. It took about 10 days to get in. It's the new V3. The V2 was the older one. This one has a little bit better um, camera on it. This is another battery that comes with it. And again, more obstacle sensors. Oh, I can't wait to uh, get this charged up. There we have the dual camera visual camera and an infrared you can see. So you could do thermography, roof inspections, solar inspections, property inspections, pretty much anything you can do. Now it's not a FLIR camera. The FLIR camera is, um, uh, comes with the other model of it. It's actually, I think three or 4,000 more, but this camera, I've seen the reviews and I hear that it's just as good as the FLIR camera or section here is where you can actually mount. You can take this out and mount these extra pieces like a loudspeaker if you're using it for public safety or a light for search and rescue. And there's also RTK, which has more precise map mapping and modeling capabilities with the RTK module. You can take that out and put that on there as well. Those cost about $600. And that gives you like centimeter precision when you're doing mapping, so. But wow, what a beautiful design. And this one actually has level eight wind resistance, uh, 
Um, I don't think any of these other ones that I have are level eight. They're all like level five and below. So that's a picture I took with the, uh, I think with the parrot, but I can't wait to get some infrared thermal images. Oh, there you go. The unboxing of the brand new Evo 2 Enterprise V3. And here we go, one more peek. I'll tell. And these run, um, the V2 is a package approximately six to 7,000. The V3, a similar in price, but a little bit more. But like I said, there's not many differences between the V2 and the V3. There's just a upgrade on the sensor and I believe on the flight time and range, but I'll double check that and put that in the comments in the description. Thanks for watching. Y'all keep it weird.